Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we're going to be trying out metallic tattoo paper. This is an extremely easy to use material, so I know you guys got this. As always, I'll make sure to put everything that I use today into the description box below so that way you guys can find those materials if you would like to use them as well. All right, guys, let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. Today I am using the 14 ounce coffee mug from the Stainless Depot company. I prepped that and I painted that this navy blue color to kind of match the glitters that I'm gonna be using today. The glitters that I'm using are sapphire and haze. You can get those at my glitter shop, www.socglitters.com if you'd like, or just use your favorite glitter that you already have on hand. I knew I kind of wanted to go a little bit darker with my base, just so that way those foils really stood out. So that's why I chose these colors today. But of course you can use any color combination you would like. Now the epoxy that I'm using today is by Illumilite. I like to use the Amazing Clearcast, but please feel free to use the epoxy you prefer. I am just using a very tiny amount of epoxy, as you can see here. I just wanna get everything nice and wet so that way we can make that ombre stick down to this tumbler without making any slick spots. You don't want it too thick on there. But of course, if you don't feel comfortable using the epoxy method, you could obviously always do Mod Podge and then do your glitter ombre that way as well. After everything is fully coated, you wanna make sure there are no dry spots whatsoever up along the rim, around the handle, all of that. I just kinda of like to twirl it in my hand for a little bit just to let everything kinda of settle down so that way there's no lines in the epoxy. All right, once that epoxy has settled down a little bit, I went ahead and prepped my glitter over there. I just kind of popped the shaker side so that way it was easy to get to when I was ready. Now I'm gonna start with the bottom first. I'm gonna go ahead and load up that glitter. And then right around the rim, I'm just gonna tilt my tumbler at like a 45 degree angle. And I'm just gonna kind of let that glitter fall down the bottom of that cup. Now I didn't wanna come up too far. I just kind of wanted just around the bottom. So I didn't come up too far with it. Now, wherever that glitter goes, the sapphire that we're going to put on top won't stick to it. So just make sure you don't go up too far. Okay, after I tapped off all that extra glitter, I just kind of take my wand and just slap it on the table. You know, I'll show you guys here in a second. <laughs> now we're moving on to sapphire and I'm just going to go all along the rim here and make sure I kind of hit the handle and just let that glitter fall naturally where it wants to wherever there is exposed epoxy is where it will stick. Once I get it kind of fully coated, I'll come back through and really load it up just to really make sure everything is nice and coated with our pretty glitters here. Once I have that all done, I just kind of look over it once more, see if I need to fill in any places, but I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I might fill in a couple more places here and there, but that looks pretty good. I, I like how that turned out. Now, because we use such little amount of epoxy, I'm gonna let this hang dry uh, for about four, four or five hours. My, my garage is pretty warm, so I, I didn't need to let it sit for too long. And then I'm gonna apply another coat of epoxy over top of this, because you want it nice and smooth for those foils. Now here, I'm gonna show you, I just tap it just like that on the table to get off any extra glitter, and there you go. All right, now we're gonna add another coat of epoxy over this. Now I, just because I like to, I sprayed it with my two times ultra seal. It just kind of helps out with any of those glitters that might shift around because you wanna keep it all in you know, its place because it's an ombre. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a coat of epoxy. I'm gonna let that cure for about eight hours. Then I'm gonna give it a good sand, trim up the rim really well. And then I am going to apply another coat of epoxy over that because it wasn't smooth enough for me. It was still a little, a little lumpy. There we go. <laughs> it was still a little lumpy after the second coat. So I did apply one more coat of epoxy after this. And then we will be ready to add those pretty foil tattoo papers on top. All right, the base is all done. As you can see here, I let that cure and it is nice and hard so that way our foils have a nice smooth surface to stick to. 
Now these metallic tattoos or foil tattoos, I just got off Amazon. I believe they are called, let me see here, Terra Tattoos. There we go. But there are so many different varieties of these tattoos that you can choose from. This was just the set that I happened to purchase. So like I said, if you'd like to purchase this exact one that I, I bought, I'll put it in the description below for you guys. But there is a huge variety of tattoo foil tattoos out there that you guys can obviously use for any type of project you would like to do. I think the hardest part was deciding exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do something with the feathers, that's why I got this set. But after that, I really didn't know until I actually got the set and then I decided I just wanna fully coat it with all these little feathers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. Now, they are extremely easy to use. As you can see, I have a little bowl of water here. That's pretty much all you really need and something to kind of dry it off with. These aren't like water slide paper, so you don't have to trim so close around the decal. You can just trim, you know, as close as you'd like to, to it because pretty much the decal ends itself right where uh, the image ends. I'm going to start with the bigger feathers first, and then I'm going to just kind of put all the tiny feathers around it. Now, the, the main biggest thing I can tell you is to make sure to peel off that plastic that <laughs> I'll show you guys here again in a second. There's a little plastic out, outside part of it. Make sure to peel that off because I accidentally didn't peel it off and one of them just stuck to the plastic and that was no good. <laughs> so make sure you peel off that plastic. Then when you go to apply it to your tumbler, you don't want to set it on your tumbler yet because it will just kind of stick on its own to it and it'll kind of ruin the image as well. So just kind of figure out where you want to place it and then go ahead and just stick it down at like that. And then I just took my fingers and you just want to make it wet, just like how you would put on a little fake tattoo, you know, maybe your kids had little fake tattoos and stuff. It's exactly how you would apply it to your skin that you want to apply it to your tumbler. I think it was when I was a kid, you could actually get little fake tattoos out of the 25 cent machines, you know, but they don't really have those kind of machines anymore. So, but anyways, same concept, very, very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and layer up all these bigger feathers, like I said, and then I'm going to show you guys when I go to peel them up. I would say once they're wet, it took about 20 to 30 seconds for it to release from its paper backing here and there we go there's the first one so now i'm just going to go ahead and finish up doing the rest of all these feathers as you can see there i just kind of came through with my finger and just kind of swiped along it just to make sure everything was really stuck down and there was no little bubbles underneath or anything like that but you don't want to mess with it too much and another thing is if you do mess up and you don't like where you placed a decal, you could always come through with some um, acetone or some rubbing alcohol and wipe off your little decal there. They're very easy to remove that way as well if, if you know you need to. But these little decals are so fun to use and obviously so very easy. That's why I know you guys got this. You guys are going to make such beautiful, beautiful tumblers. I know you will. All right, so after you let your imagination take you wherever it needs to to make your beautiful tumbler, you're just gonna wanna let it sit and kind of dry off for a second. It, I mean, it dries instantaneously, but I just kind of let it sit just to make sure everything was nice and stuck down. And then I came through and I just dabbed it off very lightly with a paper towel just to get any of that water off because when you go to do your epoxy, the water can ruin your epoxy. So you wanna make sure there's no water anywhere on that tumbler once you are done. All right, it's nice and dry, and now we're ready to add our epoxy to it. Now, if you wanna add another decal over top of this, apply another coat of epoxy, a thin coat of epoxy, then you can apply your decal, and then another coat of epoxy over that if you'd like to do that. I went ahead and sprayed it up with my two times ultra there, just to make sure that epoxy would stick to everything, because I don't know if it would wick away off of those little foil decals. So I just went ahead and did it just, just to make sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and load this up with my epoxy. I'm gonna hit it up really good with my torch and then it is good to go. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.